housing towers will be the subject of a complete lockdown. Queenslanders don't want to see those case numbers come into Queensland, so that is why there is a border closure. We need to examine what went right, uh, what could be done better with a focus on the future. A long-awaited national inquiry into the response to COVID-19, but not the Royal Commission foreshadowed by Labor before it won government. I support uh, looking at it through a measure like uh, a Royal Commission. One of the things we've learned about Royal Commissions uh, is that uh, they can roll on and on and on for year after year after year. This inquiry will only look at what was within the federal remit, things like vaccines, financial support and public health messaging. It will run for 12 months and be led by three experts in public health, governance and economic policy. Actions taken unilaterally by state and territory governments are excluded. State border closures, lockdowns, curfews, the closures of schools and playground closures. All of those things were put in place to benefit public health, to keep us all safe, but they had a really important impact on people's lives. We need to learn as much as we can because it was such a big thing. Cutting corners is really in no one's interest. The government has provided mixed messages as to why. I think it would be just impractical to be able to have a Royal Commission that looks into every decision of every state government. Why? You'd really end up needing to have eight sep well, you'd have to have eight separate Royal Commissions to look into the activities of eight separate jurisdictions. There is nothing preventing uh, the states and territories participating in this review. A confusing message, given the scope expressly excludes state decisions. What do you think a Royal Commission could do that this couldn't do? Nothing. Uh, this will be an inquiry that will hear from stakeholders, that will get input, that will report within a year, uh, because a lot of the work has already been done. Well, a Royal Commission does have different powers to any other form of inquiry, including things like the powers to demand documents, to summons witnesses, to hold public hearings. Some states have held limited inquiries. New South Wales looked at the mishap of the Ruby Princess cruise ship that allowed infected passengers to disembark into Sydney. In Queensland, an inquiry into the health response attracted impassioned submissions, but it lapsed at the 2020 state election and was never re-established. There are ongoing impacts, whether it be impacts through kids who missed out on going to school for a long period of time, or people who are still dealing with fine notices for breaching public health orders right across the community. People are still dealing with the impacts of COVID. Knowledge shifted um, throughout the pandemic and it's really um, difficult to, I mean, I think there would be a catalogue of things we did differently. There were positives from the pandemic too. In terms of um, telemedicine and telehealth, um, e-prescriptions, um, the ability to scale, there are so many things that um, we learnt during the pandemic which will put us in a much greater position going into the next um, pandemic. The opposition has been critical of the scope of the inquiry, suggesting it's designed to shield Labor premiers from scrutiny. Uh, this protection racket for Daniel Andrews and Anastasia Palaszczuk demonstrates that Daniel Andrews and Premier Palaszczuk have a lot to, a lot to keep from the Australian public. Uh, if there's nothing to hide here, then why not let the sun shine in? This is aimed at people being able to participate. And I raise this at the National Cabinet and all of the Premiers and Chief Ministers uh, welcomed uh, this approach. The Australian Medical Association holds concerns that the inquiry won't have all the information needed to fulfil its purpose. Even if the terms of reference exclude unilateral state or territory uh, actions, I'll be taking them to the inquiry irrespective of that. So maybe it's better to just have a little rethink now and, and reframe things. There's still time to get it right and I think the country expects an outcome that, that will inform the way that we respond to these things in the future.